Hi, I'm Annie and I have mixed feelings about this magazine, this modern pulp magazine, Dark Lane Digest Issue 1. And it is not yet August, but I can't wait for August. So in the whole of the month of July, I will be recommending all kinds of modern trash and pulp fiction for you. And uh, because pulp fiction magazines are still being published, I'll put a link to a list of all the modern pulp magazines in, uh, in the description box below, so you can find out uh, more of these issues and where you can find them. So why am I dedicating July to modern pulp fiction? Because I can't wait for August, <laughs> and August it is Garb August, and this is a whole month of celebration of pulp fiction and trashy uh, books, novels, short stories, pulp magazines, but you can also watch uh, pulp films as well if you like. So I read this pulp magazine, this modern pulp magazine. And why do I have mixed feelings about this issue? Well, uh, first I must say I must compliment the illustrator of the cover of this magazine. And there are also great illustrations in this magazine as well. I think they are just great. There are six short stories in it, uh, in this issue, um, and I think two are just excellent. One I find just great, <laughs> one just okay, uh, but, but it was with talking animals, and talking animals are just not my kind of thing. And the last story I dnf I must admit, uh, the last story was not for me. I didn't care for the characters. So uh, on the Dark Lane uh, Books website, you can find more information about this magazine. I will put a link to it in the description box below. But the, um, they also publish um, books with short stories in them. But this magazine uh, is, has stories uh, with strange and beautiful fiction in it. And there are uh, fantasy stories, horror stories, and other stories, but they all have a dark side to them. So I found that very, very interesting. So let's talk about the two short stories I found just excellent. Witch Pricker by Laura Brooks uh, is about a man who has to find out who is a witch and who is not by uh, pricking these unfortunate women in specific places on the body to find out where the devil feeds <laughs> uh, from these women <laughs> because the devil drinks blood <laughs> apparently of these witches but uh, by pricking uh, on these in, on specific places in these women uh, he tries to find out uh, who is a witch and who is not we this is really an interesting story because it has a great character development in it of this witch pricker and uh, we see his thoughts uh, and uh, as this woman is brought in and he has to examine her and she seems to be more different than all of the other woman women he examined i don't want to uh, tell too much about the story but i found this just an excellent plot this was just an excellent story I found. 
Then we have The Stool by Matthew uh, G. Rees. And I've also found this an excellent short story. It's about Dr. Angela Spelling, who is from California and travels to the United Kingdom uh, to find out more about women in the Church of, I don't remember exactly the English uh, place where this takes sorry takes place, but she has a connection uh, to this uh, village, and she asks a sort of unwilling Geoffrey, Jeffrey uh, Reverend Jeffrey uh, de Slist for information about women, the position of women in the church, and he is a bit of a stuffy <laughs> and old-fashioned old goat <laughs> uh, but I, I think this story is set in the 1940s or 1950s I think because there is talk of uh, popular music uh, being the jazz music if I remember correctly and uh, she wears uh, this um, doctor spelling wears jeans and in this village uh, women don't wear pants uh, or not jeans at least uh, but uh, I found this a highly highly entertain <laughs> entertaining story and um, the, the the dialogues are uh, fun as Dr. Spelling uh, <laughs> takes the mickey out of <laughs> the old-fashioned reverence <laughs> and these it's not not really um, a comedy of some sorts but it has this light touch light humoristic uh, touch to it uh, which I found just highly entertaining and I like the writing style also very much so I found this a highly entertaining short story for these two stories alone I would highly recommend you pick up a copy of Dark Lane Digest and what are your plans for August? Are you going to enjoy yourself with modern trash or old fashioned vintage trash? Do let me know in the comments below because I'm dying to find out and to hear from you. 